Well, the time has come. I have reached 1,000 subscribers. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for that, and as I promised, here's the Q&A. Ooh! Mm. Let's get into it! Alright, I'm going to start from the first comment to the most recent comment. Alright, so I guess that's the first one. Alright, first question is from Mike McDoin the Duck, my boy. Uh, his comment is just, yep. Thanks. Second question is from Jacob Pow- Jacob? Come on! Second question is from Caleb Powell. Why don't you have a million subs? You deserve it. Uh, well, that's not how anything works on YouTube, but, uh, thanks. I, w I wish I had a million subs, that'd be awesome. Next one is from Quirk Games. Uh, does he have Down Syndrome? JK, what is your name? Uh, well, first part, does he have Down Syndrome? That's relating to Michael, who's my friend in the Q&A video, the one who's just playing Xbox. The Q&A, you know, asking for questions video. He's gonna be in a lot of my videos, I think. Let's hope he, does Let's hope he doesn't die, because then he won't be in any of the videos, and I'll, I'll just look stupid. Uh, JK, what is your name? My name is Jackson. Uh, so... Next one is also from Mike McDoimaduck. When did you start making weapons? Um, I think actual weapons I started making about two years ago, I'd say. Two, two and a half years ago. I started out just building, like, crossbows and, like, uh, hidden blades from Assassin's Creed out of Legos. A lot of stuff like that when I was a lot younger. I always knew I really liked doing that stuff, and then I would go into like, you know, made stuff out of popsicle sticks and uh, small pieces of wood getting help with my from my dad, and then I just fell in love with it and then just went on, went off on my own doing it, and now I have this entire beautiful workshop that I'm very thankful for, where I can just make whatever I want within the limitations I have. This one is from DNG D and G Productions. He says, uh, "In the future, will you be, will you being, in the future, will you being any blacksmith builds?" Uh, yes. Uh, I'm not sure where in the future. I don't know if that's going to be one of my next videos or in a couple months or so because I have a forge in my backyard. But I don't really use it much because I'm not very good at blacksmithing, and I think I should like maybe learn a lot more about it first. Uh, I can use it for heat treating, but the only reason I don't use it for heat treating is because the metal I use to make knives are either already heat treated, like the knife, the file knife, like this one is already heat treated, so I didn't have to heat treat this one. Uh, or when I make a sword, like the uh, the, uh, the treaded steel, that's just, it's not even heat treatable, and to buy stock heat treatable steel is extremely expensive, at least for me, because I'm, I'm a poor little boy, and I don't have, I don't have money to buy high carbon steel, first world problems. I'm not super richy rich and have millions of dollars to buy all that high carbon steel joke. I'm kidding. I'm just not able to afford it right now. I mean, I am able to afford it, but I feel like it's it's just not it's not really worth it when I can just make one out of a file or I can just get like a farrier's rasp, farrier's rasp, which is really wide and really nice steel to make knives out of. I just feel like it's not very worth it at the t at, as of right now. But blacksmithing builds um if you mean like making knives out of like railroad spikes, I'm gonna try doing that soon because I have a few railroad spikes and I'm gonna try uh, forging them into knives, but that's gonna be soon, 
least I'm hoping. In the summer it's going to be a lot easier to blacksmith because my forage won't be completely soaked from the rain. So, yeah. Thanks for the question. Next one is from Rizki Arifi. I hope I pronounced that right. I'm sorry if I, I didn't. Sorry. Uh, he says, do you play games? Uh, and can you make weapons from them? Thanks. Uh, I do. I am an avid gamer. I play a lot of video games. And uh, I've, I have made a few weapons, even on this channel, that have been inspired from video games. Like the, um, the sword that I made. I don't know where that is. That might be up there or something. Uh, yeah, where is that? that might, I think that's up there. The sword that I made, that I have the video of, uh, the sword, make homemade sword tutorial, that was inspired from uh, a weapon in Fallout 4 called Kremva's Tooth. Uh, I just saw that and I had treaded steel and I liked how there were holes in it and it looked really sacrificial and I thought that looked really cool and that inspired me to make that. Or the cane sword that I just recently made, that was inspired from Assassin's Creed Syndicate, uh, the new game that just came out didn't just come out. The most recent one, I guess. Because he has a cane sword in that video game. Ooh! It is hot. Next one is from Tharmesh Rex. He says, Have you tried making the hidden blade from Assassin's Creed? Yes, I have. When I was a lot younger, I made a little baby crap one that kind of worked. It's not, it's not dual action. And uh, I feel like for dual, uh, for like a dual action hidden, bl hidden blade, you need precision tools, and I don't have any of those. All I have is hand tools, and that does include like a hand drill and a hand angle grinder, you know, that. But I, I might in the future. I have a drawer slide that I'm thinking of making into one, but I don't think it's going to be double action because those are really complicated. If you've seen videos on them, they're crazy. Scene. But yeah, I think I I think I'm I might make one in the future. But you know, it'll probably be my first or I guess second one since I made one a while ago. And it's not gonna be very good if I make one. Just accept that now. It's not gonna be very good. Whatever you see on YouTube, it's not gonna be as good as that one. Next one is from Luke Graham. What is your upload schedule? Uh, I don't have a schedule, like a set schedule, but I try to make one every one to two weeks. I'm really busy. Uh, outside of making videos, I am a student in high school, and uh, you know I, I like to have good grades. I'm not a slacker, so I do a lot of studying and homework out of school. So I'm not able to make videos as fast as people who have YouTube as their job, because I'm also very busy outside of making videos. All right, uh, next three are from, the next three of them are from Joshua Manuel. So first one is, what got you started in building weapons? What's your favorite build video? And what's your favorite weapon and why? Uh, it's really vague there. Uh, what, oh, no, not what, not when did you start building weapons? What got you to, what got you started in weapon building, in building weapons? Um, I'm not really sure. I was always kind of one of those, you know, weird kids that just like, like to make things that shoot things. Nothing like, I, I'm not like insane or anything, I don't want to kill, I don't want to kill people, but I just liked the, uh, the mechanisms of like crossbows and bows, I like the, uh, the aspect of that, I don't know why. I'm not really sure exactly what it is, but I just find them really cool. Uh, but when I say... When I have Vector Weapons as my channel, I am thinking of changing that soon, but I'm really not sure what to change it to. I'm thinking the Vector Project, but I'm not sure. I'm still thinking about it. What got you started in building weapons? Okay. Um, a lot of it was YouTube. Uh, I am addicted to YouTube at this point. Everything that I've learned about making weapons and making this stuff I call them tools, I don't really even call them weapons. A knife, I don't think of it as a weapon, I think of it as a tool. It's used to cut things. Cutting fabric, cutting, carving wood, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so, 
I, I would say mostly YouTube got me started building weapons. Or just being a little kid made me start building weapons. But actually making YouTube videos, that was Zenot Alpha, or ZNA Productions. He's the one who started making me, started influ influencing me to do YouTube. And he was my biggest inspiration. I started watching him, and I thought, hey, that's pretty cool. And at the time, I was making weapons myself, or tools, and armor. And I thought, as I was building them, I would, I would just think, what am I doing this for? There's no, there's no outcome in this. And then I saw a YouTube, I saw YouTuber ZNA Productions at that Alpha, and I thought, I think I'll do that because I, I know I, I knew that was something that I really liked, and there's not a lot of things that I like. I don't know what it is, but I knew that making things was something that I really liked, and I. I just wanted to, you know, have some kind of outcome, and YouTube was that. I'm able to teach people a bunch of stuff, show people my techniques, uh, just build a community is what I really like doing. I like seeing other people talk to each other in the comments of the videos, I find that really cool. Uh, and yeah. What's my favorite build video? What is my favorite build video? Well, as of right now, the further you go down on my YouTube videos, the cringier they get, which isn't very good. My favorite build video. Uh, I liked the helmet because I had I had a lot of fun making that and kind of putting my comedy into it. I guess I'm getting a lot more comfortable with YouTube. And I'm able to be a little bit more funnier than I used to be. Because if you go down on my videos. Like, uh, the butterfly knife video, ugh, I was so serious, I don't know what it is. I try, I'm, I'm generally a funny person, I think. At least people tell me that. I like a comical person, I like to be silly and mess around. Uh, so my favorite build video, if I had to put it to top three, I think it'd be the crossbow, the helmet, and... Hmm, crossbow, helmet... I'm looking at all my my tools and mm, builds. Mm, I don't know. Crossbow, helmet. Hold on, I have them right here. Crossbow, helmet, and maybe the knife. I think, yeah, crossbow, helmet, and file knife. I think those are my top three. What's my favorite weapon? Uh, if you mean the one that I've made, uh, I can't pinpoint that. I just can't. It might be the new one that I'm working on right now that is maybe in the shot. I can't even tell if it's in the shot. I don't want you guys to see it yet. Actually, it might be out. It might be out before or after this is up. I don't know. My favorite weapon. Uh... Favorite weapon. I, I'm sorry, I just can't conf I can't pinpoint it. I never have favorites of anything. I don't have favorite movies, songs, colors. I, I don't have favorite anything. Video games. I do have a, a top, top five video games, though. But I'm dragging this out a little bit too long, so I'll go to the next one. Can you please make a build video that is cheap, easy, no power tools needed weapons? Um, I think I could soon. Um, so... Yes. That was easy. <laughs> Alright, next one is from Sinx Vlogs. Uh, he says, you smoke? No. Smoking is stupid. I hate it. I hate people who smoke. I guess I don't hate people who smoke. I hate it when people smoke. It's just gross. I think vaping is... Ugh. And then he followed up with uh, Smoke Blacksmith. We talked about this just a couple minutes ago. I'm gonna try to smoke Blacksmith. Don't smoke, kids. Smoking is bad. Oh man, smoking's cool. You know what else is cool? Lung cancer. Uh, next one is from Chris Patrick. He says, Hey dude, been a fan for a while. Quick question, request. Could you do a blowpipe and blow dart build? It's a small build, but I could use a second opinion on supplies. Keep up the good work. Uh, keep up the good work, I will. And as for the blowpipe, We've already been starting that, because we saw your comment, and my friend and I started the video 
on making it. Blowpipe is actually in progress right next to me. And um, so yeah, we're making it, but that's probably gonna come out in a while. So rest easy, it's gonna come out soon. I hope so. I hope nothing gets corrupt and I can't put out the video. I have to cancel it. But yeah, and by the way, when we're making that, it's gonna be mostly all my friend Michael making the video. So it's looking pretty nice as of right now, I think. Oh, wow. Ooh, I like that last name. Next one is from Connor Oreshnik. Oh, that's a, such a cool last name. I like that one. Uh, what's my name, age, and pet? My name? Uh, Jackson. My age, as of, this, as of this recording, I am 15. And my pet, I have two dogs, one named Maya, who's an Australian Shepherd, and one named Skylar, who's in the crossbow video, you might see watch it. I almost shoot her. No, I'm kidding. I don't almost shoot her, but she got in the way of the recording. And Skylar is a Catahoula leopard hound. <laughs> Isn't that a mouthful? Derpy McDurbenstein says, have you ever licked a sidewalk? Can't say that I have intentionally. Chicken Feet. So, how many from Chicken Feet? The next two are from Chicken Feet. It's a weird name. How did you learn to make weapons? Exclamation point. Uh, how did I learn YouTube? Completely all on YouTube. I think most of, about 70% of the stuff I watch on YouTube is related to making weapons and making things. Making, making stuff. Oh, I guess the next two are the exact same question. There's two from Chicken Feed says, saying, how did you make, how did you learn to make weapons? So it's just two of the same comment. Rowan O'Connor says, who was your inspiration? Uh, if by that you mean who inspired me to ma start making weapons, I don't have one. My little child imagination inspired me, but if you mean to start making YouTube videos, as I said, it was ZNA Productions, Zed Not Alpha, Eli or Zakowski, whatever you want to call him. Margo, Maro Obravic, how old are you? 15. Joven Kovacevic, oh, whoa. Jo Joven Kovacevic. Everyone has cooler last names than me. He says, what is the most important tool for knife making? Um, if, you, if you mean professionally, and you mean forging, I'd say a forge, obviously. If you mean forging a knife, yeah, a forge. Uh, if you mean stock removal, maybe in a plasma cutter, depending on much money you have, or an angle grinder, because that's what I use. I do all stock removal method as of right now. Uh, I'd say an angle grinder. If, uh, that's for cutting and uh, grinding the bevels, but for grinding the bevels, uh, I think low cost would be an angle grinder with an abrasive wheel. Uh, higher cost is a belt sander. And then the highest cost is like a full-on like three or four point uh, belt sander, like the really the expensive ones that are big and they have the huge ass belts. Those ones, you know what I'm talking about. You've, you've, you've seen them. All right, this is uh, the craft addict, my boy Ethan. He says, uh, how dank would you say your memes are? Boy, you can't even handle my dank memes. They're danker than you'll ever be. They're danker than you or your memes will ever be. I have the dankest memes around. I actually won the uh, dankest meme competition at my school, so... Thank you! If they're not dank enough, I'm gonna have to unsub. Good luck with that, buddy, because my memes are the dankest, as previously stated. So... They're gonna be here a while. Uh... Demon K40 says, have you ever shot a real gun? No. I don't really like guns. 
as much as I like crossbows and bows and swords and hatchets and axes and knives, that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't know what it is also, I just haven't really got the chance to shoot a real gun. Uh, I just really haven't. I'm not one of those kids that is like hunting all the time. I've never even gone hunting. So yeah, no, I've never shot a real gun. And I'm sure I will eventually. But as of right now, being a 15 year old, I have never shot a real gun. I've shot things very powerful though. Like my PVC uh, pipe cannon. That thing's powerful. Alright, next one. Fat little white guy says, Where did you learn your mad skills? Skills is spelled with a Z at the end. Uh, YouTube. Again. I feel like in this video I'm gonna answer things more than once. Learning from my mistakes, because I have made a lot of mistakes. A lot of them have actually been in my videos. Like in the, uh, in the, uh, what was that, the tomahawk build? You'll see me put the glue to put on the handles. I put them, I put the glue on the wrong side. That was in, that was in the video. Matthew Stevens says, Are you going to make any more swords slash knives? Yes! Those are probably one of the number one things I make. I've made multiple knives and uh, most of them have not even been in my videos. I don't know why. Sometimes I just make knives. I make things and sometimes I just don't record them. Like my body armor, I'm constantly working on. I'll show you, but I never, I, I never have it in the video because when I started making it, I wasn't doing YouTube yet, and then I just keep building onto it more and more. I'm trying to make a full suit of armor, but uh, am I making any more swords? Yes, there's one on the table right now, but it's laying flat on it with all, along with a pile of junk, so you can't see it. But yeah, I will be making more swords and knives. But if you're talking like a, a katana, probably not, because you need really good steel for that. Like really good steel. Like a quality katana. I can make a prop one easy, but like a quality katana or like those, you know, thin ones. Probably not, but like the thick ass ones out of the twelve out of the uh, treaded steel. I can make those. This one is from Dustin Zeh. 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that's not his actual last name. But if it is, congratulations, dude. That's pretty cool. He says, you should make a gun, like a 22 caliber single single shot break action. No. If you're talking about an actual like gun that uses shells and shoots bullets at a very high velocity, I will not be making one of those anytime soon. Maybe 20 years from now. I don't know. But a real gun? No, those are too dangerous. I'm... I'm not gonna make something that can do extensive damage to property or worse people. I'll make crossbows, but like, you know, those take an hour to reload, metaphorically. <coughs> so, sorry to find those on other channels on YouTube. It's too dangerous, man. Uh, this one is from Biosurge159. I am friends with him. And I really think you should subscribe to his channel. He does gaming videos. He's really cool and he's pretty funny. I think you should subscribe to him. Actually, I don't think you should. I demand that you subscribe to him. What is your favorite build that you have done? Um, favorite build? Ever? Oh, God. Yeah, I guess I stated it before. The helmet, the body armor, or the crossbow. Oh, there's so many of them. How do I choose? Uh, yeah, no, I, I don't know. I don't have favorites. I just don't. People get mad at me for that sometimes. Jackson, what's your favorite color? I don't have a favorite color. Meh. I don't know. Uh, Monkey Man. Monkey Man says, In a zombie apocalypse, would you use a mace, machete, or a baseball bat? Baseball bat, those are made for hitting baseballs, so I feel like after a while it would break. And, I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a club, but depending on how good it is, I don't know. I mean, obviously a machete, I'm... Oh, man. If you mean to fight zombies, a machete. But if you mean in a zombie apocalypse, like I'd have to survive and, you know, fend for myself, make firewood, stuff like that, 
I'd probably go with them. Uh, go with them. The uh, oh god. I think. Well, if I'm fighting zombies. Oh god, I don't know. I'm getting confused. Actually, I don't. I'm hurting my brain. All right, baseball bats out of the question. A mace or a machete? To fight zombies, I'm gonna say a mace because you can just swing those around and it's gonna whatever it hits, it's gonna hurt. A machete. If you hit it on the side of the machete, you hit their like the side of the blade, it's not going to do anything. It, you have to be a lot more articulate with it, a lot more precise, you know. So, I think I'd go with a mace, but also, if I have to like chop up wood and, you know, cut things to survive, I'd probably go with a machete. I think I'd be able to defend myself with a machete. Alright, the next one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The next ten questions are from the Kooky Gamer, so Where do you work? I don't I don't have a what do you what do you mean? I in my workshop. Work in my workshop. I don't have a job because I'm not sixteen yet. And I know you can get like a job at like Wendy's at fifteen, but how am I gonna get there? It's too too cumbersome. Especially with YouTube and School? No, not yet. What country do you live in? United States. My, my accent. I think that'd be pretty, pretty obvious. Very American accent. I wouldn't say like American, like howdy y'all. I kind of act. Oh wow. Oof. <laughs> That's gonna be interesting to edit. I don't know if I'm gonna leave that in or not. How should you live in the United States? Uh, he said, I'm so glad that ZNA made you start YouTube. He didn't make me start YouTube. He inspired me. Uh, please read at least at least one of my comments, questions, please. No. I'm going to start a building channel in the future. I bought a good camera for it, but I don't know how to start and how to change my gay name. Alright, first of all with names. I don't think names can have a sexual preference or a sexual orientation, so... <coughs> I'm gonna start a build, start a building channel in the future, but a good camera for I don't know how to start. How to start. Just think of a build you wanna do and do it. And uh, just accept that whatever you're gonna make to you, it's gonna be cringy. And it probably always will be. Any build videos you make, you're gonna think they're cringy. Cringy. Unless you're a complete narcissist, which by your comments, I don't know. No, I'm kidding. You're probably not a narcissist. Uh, if you want to start, just make the video. And then, if you want to keep doing it, just keep making them and you'll get better and better. I promise. I've made improvements. I hope. Can you please think of a name for me? And my real name is George Cooney. Come on. That's too close to George Clooney, the most beautiful man alive. George Cooney. The kooky gamer. I mean, apparently you're a gamer, so... I don't know, what do you like? What do you, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to, how to answer this. How do I... How? Alright. Can you please think of a name for me? Alright, I'm not gonna think of a name for you. I can give you some inspiration or suggestions. Do you want your real name in the name? Because if so, make it... You could make it, uh building channel, um, Cooney Builds, I don't know, um, Cooney Builds maybe, or Clooney Builds, whatever your real name, your last, real last name is, if it is Clooney or Cooney, uh, don't make it George Clooney, Clooney, George Clooney, don't make it Clooney Builds, because then people think you're George Clooney, and, uh, you're probably not, but if you are George Clooney, George but if you are George Clooney, thank you for watching my videos. Uh, uh, it's an honor. I can help you think of one, give you a technique. For me, Vector Weapons. Vector was just kind of like a... I just kind of liked the sound of it. Vector, it was just kind of like a cool name. And then I made a logo for it, and I was like, that's it. I really liked the logo, or the logo kind of basic shape of the logo. Vector, that's kind of just like a, it's like a code, kind of code name, kind of sounding thing. And that's put weapons after it, because that's what I made. I don't, I don't want it to be Vector Weapons anymore, though. I'm probably gonna, I'm changing it. I'm gonna try to change it soon. But, 
yeah. When are you going to get a new camera? I suggest the GoPro Hero 4 session. Dude, I don't got that kind of money. I'm stuck with this camera. I mean, it's still, it's a nice camera. I don't know, I like this camera. Pretty good. It has the, has the thing that flips out on the side. It zooms in pretty well for all that, you know, long range shooting I've been doing in my garage. Uh, you were the best, keep it up. Thanks. I will. Test your weapons at the end, you will get more views hopefully. Um, I do test my weapons, but whenever I make the weapons in the videos, I'd like to have them out in at least two weeks, and that includes making them uh, and editing them within two weeks, plus all the other stuff I'm doing other than YouTube. So I don't always have time for testing. But, um, my friend Michael and I, we do like to test, uh, test my weapons with, like, water bottles and milk jugs, cans and stuff. And we do record it, and I do have a weapons testing video, just plain weapons testing, a bunch of weapons that I've made. And that was a, one of my first videos. I'm gonna be making part two of that sometime in the future. You look like the main character out of Project X. That it, uh, what is that? I don't want. <coughs> that's a TV show. I don't watch TV ever. I think the last time I watched TV was like a year ago. Seriously, I don't watch TV ever. I just watch YouTube a lot. I mean, Project X. Looking it up on Safari. Oh, that's. Oh, I know that movie. Oh wow, 28% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's horrible. I think. I mean, it's percent, so it's out of 100, I guess. I don't know which one it is. I'm either the tall and skinny guy, or the one that has the sweater on. So I'm not the guy with glasses, because I don't wear glasses and I don't have curly hair. I'm gonna say he thinks I look like the tall and skinny one. I don't know. One of them. Next one is from Ollie O. Ollie O. Or a zero. I don't know. Alio, you know, you know who you are. Where exactly do you live? What's your bank details and pen? And how dank your mains? I live in Pennsylvania, in the United States. Uh, my bank and details are. Um, <laughs> They are the rarest, and they are the Rick Rollist. Uh, have you ever thought about making a forge, and why do you keep the diamond pattern on the plate iron builds? Uh, I have a forge. It's not, it's not, it's not fantastic, but it's a, it works. Um, why do I keep the diamond pattern on the plate iron builds? Uh, because they're about an eighth inch thick. Those diamonds, they, that they come off, it's treaded steel. Those are treads on it. And I also really like the look of them. And also it gives uh, a lot more width to the, to the blade, the actual like blade on it, the edge. It gives it a lot more width, but without making the overall thickness of the metal wi uh, wider or thicker. Ian Ingram, my boy Ian Ingram, he says, what build would you redo if you had the chance? Um, the one I'm thinking of, I do have the chance, and I'm going to take that chance with one of my upcoming videos in the future. It is the butterfly knife video. If you go and watch that right now, uh, I recommend that you don't, but it's not great. Uh, it's, not, it's not the best, not the best build. And uh, I'm gonna redo it, but I'm not gonna be making it a knife. I don't uh, with butterfly knives. I don't make them knives. That's way too dangerous. I don't trust myself with that. I've already gotten five stitches from one of my knives already. And that was just a regular knife. Nothing complicated about it. No flipping around in the fingers. I just make them combs because they have, you know, my fair hair. 
I will be redoing that build soon. Extreme Martial Arts says, why is you so cute? Um, I don't really tell a lot of people about this, but I, I feel like it's time to get it off my back. Uh, I mean, I've known about this for a long time, and I just keep it in secret because I don't want anyone to know. Um, when I was about six or seven, I had a dream, and there was a unicorn in the dream, and I went up to the unicorn, and I wanted to give it a hug, but instead, it kicked me in the face with its back hind leg. It kicked me so hard that when I woke up, I was so cute because it was a unicorn. The doctors were never able to explain it. Just suddenly I was cute, and they diagnosed me with cuteness. Oh, that feels so good to have off my back, finally. Oh, I feel 100 pounds lighter. Alex Hornick says, why don't you put finish on your handles? <laughs> I just like how he spelled finish with like, like someone who's from Finland. <coughs> F-I-N-N-I-S-H. Uh, if by that you mean like polyurethane, I just don't have polyurethane, and I don't, I don't know. I, I use enamel to seal it, but if you mean stain, um, it was because I didn't have stain for a long time, because uh, I was, I, I had a thing of, I had a can of stain, like, similar to uh, this one that I use now, which is Jacobean 2750. I had one like this. I forget what it was, it was something, it was mahogany something, but I accidentally shot it with my bow and it punctured the steel and then it was the worst luck. It was at the very bottom of the side of the can, so all of it would just start leaking out. I tried duct taping and I tried everything, but just slowly it would just seep out and it just left stain. I still have stain on my concrete floor of my garage, like just embedded into the concrete. So uh, I do use stain now if I don't like the color of the wood, but, I mean, I just didn't for a while because I didn't have stain, and every time I would go to the hardware store, I'd just forget to buy stain, because it just wasn't up on my priority list of making what I was making functional. Like, obviously, if you're making a knife, you have to have metal, and I'm not thinking about what I'm going to finish the handle with. I'm thinking about what metal I'm going to get, so I would always forget, and then yeah, but I do put finish on my handles now if I don't like the wood. <coughs> Alright, Alex Hornick again says, Can you do a zero dollar build where you only use trash and make a killer weapon? Um, by that I mean, he followed it up with a comment that said, By that I mean literally go to trash cans around your neighborhood and collect trash, not leftovers from old builds. Um... Does a yard sale count? Because my neighborhood's gonna have a yard sale in a couple weeks. So, can I do it with that? Or do I have to like go to trash cans around my neighborhood? Like people that, stuff that people throw out, like wood and stuff? I mean, yeah, I guess I can. I'll try, maybe. I'm, I'm not really sure because depending on what they throw out, like, throw out a piece of wood, the best I can do is make a slingshot. And that's not even zero dollar, because you need elastic. Um, I'll try. I might be able to make a flail. Flail, flails are pretty simple. Probably make a flail. Jonah Hoffert says, are you going to join the Zednots if they're recruiting? Oh, and are you having the dankest of memes? Uh, regarding the Zednots, I'm thinking about it, but I'm not. I'm not sure if I could, if I should join the ZYTC. I mean, I can call myself a Zednot, but being in the the YouTube circle of the Zednots, like having my own official title, which I hope would be Zednot Vector, that'd be awesome. I'd like to join it. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, I feel like YouTube is something I'm gonna do for a long time, or at least a uh, at least a while as I'm going through high school. I don't know if that's if it's gonna be my career for the rest of my life, 
but I feel like joining the ZYTC for for my YouTube career, I think that'd be pretty cool. Mm, no, I don't, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Uh, it'd be really cool to join it, and maybe I'll talk to Eli about I'll see if I can message Eli about it. I'm not really sure how you do that. Amber Fulkerson says, where do you keep the weapon builds? Um, I mean, most of the weapons and armor that I have that I have made are just around my workshop somewhere. I have a armor stand right here. It's not a stand; it's kind of hanging. But yeah, um, I do have a shelf right over up there that I keep a lot of my stuff. But other things, like the ones that I don't use on a daily basis, like my knives, I have them either on my workshop or at the ready because I use them when I'm working. But I have like a like a club right there, the uh, the exoda bat I have right there. I have a quiver with all my arrows in it. I have a bow just sitting right there on the chest that the camera is right behind. Uh, I have my bow, my other bow just hanging kind of like in the rafters up there. Uh, I have a shield right there. I have a wrist crossbow. That was a school project. Just sitting right there on the on the workshop, right there. Whoa, whoa, that's not right. Ooh, this light's not on. There we go. The light wasn't on. Yeah, I took a break while recording this, and I also turned off the lights. Uh, I keep the weapon builds around my workshop. All right, what power power tool did you first get? Um, I mean, I've I had power tools before I started making weapons. Just because my dad, you know, everyone has power tools at their house, even if they don't make weapons. I've, I think the first power tool I ever started using was the drill. I think that's the first one I ever used because it's very, you know, it's it's really basic. The first one I ever bought was my Dremel tool. That was the first. That was the first uh, power tool I ever bought myself for making stuff. Yeah. And it was just like that, and then it was the angle grinder. I love the angle grinder. Do not know where I would be without that angle grinder. Oh, here we go. Last one. Last one. Jacob Collins, who I'm actually friends with. In reality, he goes to my school. He says, uh, why do you stalk Skylar slash Maya? Why do I stalk my two dogs? Consider it stalking if they're if like they're pets and you own them. So yeah, that's that's the Q and A. Hope you enjoyed and you weren't completely disappointed with my response to your question. If you had a question in the video, which I don't know if you did or not. Yeah, so that's the Q and A. Um, if you want me to do another one for my next milestone, which, I don't know, maybe 5,000? I feel like 2,000, that's a bit... That's a bit too close. I might just have, like, a thank you for 2,000. But 5,000, let me know if I should do another Q&A or something else. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. <laughs>